welcome to lesson number six. My name is Seth May Patterson, and I play the viola and the violin. I am a professional freelance instrumentalist in the Pacific Northwest area. I live in Seattle, and I play with a bunch of different ensembles, and I coach youth orchestras as well as teach privately. So today we have a very exciting lesson because we are going to learn how to read notes on the staff. So first off, here is a staff. The staff is a very important part of reading music. The staff is made up of five lines and four spaces. The next most important part is our clef. So our clef that we read in as violists is the alto clef. So that you can think of that as kind of a language, how we, how we interpret what we read on the staff. So we're going to put an alto clef up on our staff. So to start with reading music, all you really have to know is just even the beginning of your alphabet. So even if you're five or six, as long as you've practiced your ABCs a little bit, you sh you'll be able to read music. So the musical alphabet starts at A and it goes until G. There is no H or I or J or anything like that. So let's just count through our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So as we move forward through the alphabet, we're gonna go up in pitch. You'll see them one by one getting higher and higher and higher. So we can also go backwards. So if we start at G, so actually try saying this one with me because this is kind of tricky to go backwards. So G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. So as we go backwards through the musical alphabet, we're gonna go downwards in pitch. So starting with the staff, there are, as I said, five lines. We're gonna start at the bottom line, and that's gonna be F. Then the next line up will be A. Third middle line, as I said, C clef is C. So F, A, C. Next line up is E. And then the, the top line is G. Sometimes we can remember them by having a, a saying that we can remember. If you wanna think about a saying, something that you can kind of remind yourself, is fat alley cats eat garbage. Kind of funny, if you think of a fat alley cat, they're gonna be eating garbage. So those are the lines. If we erase that on the, on the staff, and then we're going to talk about the spaces. So as I said, there's four spaces. The bottom space is G, the next space up is B, the next space up is D, and the next space up is F. Now a saying that we can say to ourselves, if we want our good boys deserve fudge, and if you are a girl and you don't want to have that because it's not really a very equal, you know, I think good girls also deserve fudge. Um, you can actually say this one, which is actually way better and it's my favorite. Um, girls breathe dragon fire, which I think is just way better anyways. So as we read notes on the staff, if we erase all of that and we actually start from the bottom line, if we start at F, the next letter would be G. So notice that F is the first line and then G is the first space. So what would come after G? So what would the next line be? So F, G, and then A. Remember how we said in the musical alphabet, we come right back around to A once we get to, to G. Once we get to either end, we just kind of wrap around. So let's just keep spelling our, our staff. So we have F, G, A, B, C, middle line C, D, E, F, and then our top line is G. If you add in the space above the top line, that is your open A string on your instrument. So if you think G, B, D, F, A, then instead of girls breathe dragon fire, you want something for A. So I like to say good burritos don't fall apart right? Nobody likes a burrito that falls apart. It's okay for tacos, but burritos, we want it to not fall apart. So good burritos don't fall apart. Going from the bottom to the top. This will be really, uh, really memorable if you like burritos. Let's just have a, a quick little test. What would that be? So first we need to ask ourselves, is it a space or is there a line going through it? If there's a line going through it. So what do we say for our lines? Remember about fat alley cats? So we're gonna start at the bottom, F, A, C. So now we know that the middle line is C. 
So let's try one more. So what do we say again? Or our very first question is, is it a line or a space? That's the very first question you want to ask yourself. So now it's a space, right? So we start, what do we say for spaces? Girls, breathe, dragon, fire. So that top space is an F. So these are uh, the different ways that you can learn to read music. That wraps up this lesson for today. So feel free to like and follow this page so you can get all of our updates and you can see all of our instructional videos. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.